Hey everyone, welcome back to Gate Strong. In today's video, it's room tour part four. Today we're gonna finish this shelving here. But before we do that, in the last video, I promised you that I was going to compare the Power of the Force 2 Snow Speeder with the Vintage. I didn't have it at the time, so I went up in the attic, pulled it down, I pulled on a few more items on top of that. We'll take a look at that. But before we do that, what do you say? Let's do this! Okay, let's start over here on the left. Here we have the detention block with the trash compactor door. It's actually not a door, right? They just blast through the wall there. And a sliding door to put Princess Leia in there. And here is the entryway. I love that image right there. It looks pretty cool. Pretty decent playset, you know, I like it. it. Does have a giant gun on top though, but I guess if you're a kid, it gives you some play value. Here we have the rope swing with a gun again. I don't know what is what is it with all these giant guns, but this is kind of cool too because it has a, uh, the sliding door, yeah, right there. Kind of cool, and then you can put the bridge back. I like that little set. Here we have the carbon freezing chamber. Guess what? Comes with a giant gun on top. Here we have two gunner stations for the Millennium Falcon. Each one of these came with a Luke Skywalker or a Han Solo. And they shoot missiles. Dewback. Some other vehicles and guns from episode one. The speeder bike. Laser radar cannon. We have a more accurate Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Now this TIE Fighter looks almost identical to the vintage one. And the 1980, which was blue also. But these side panels from the wings, they don't have stickers on them there. They actually have some pretty cool detail in them. And this one doesn't have electronics in it either. Here we have the land speeder, which is pretty accurate, pretty close to the vintage one. A little bit more detail. And the hood opens too, just like the vintage. Same way too, and it has the wheels underneath. We have some miscellaneous items here. Qui-Gon and Darth Maul. And these are like Rock'em Sock'em robots. You would put these on a little display and you would turn the knobs and they would fight. And when you knock their head, it would knock them off. Here is the A-Wing. And the A-Wing, I believe looks, I never had the original one, but I believe this is the same exact mold as the vintage one. But did the vintage one have electronics in it? Because there's a little door underneath here, but there's nothing that goes in this door that I can see. But really cool. Here we have the snow speeders. So we can listen to the electronics on this one. So we have a pretty cool tow cable here that you push the button and it shoots off. Really cool versus the original. Just has that little small tow cable. This one has some really awesome electronics. So underneath here, there's two buttons. And the original one just has this sound. If you remember from the last video. And they both light up. Move over here and we have the vintage X-Wing next to the Power of the Force 2 X-Wing. Again, you can see how close they look. It's the exact same thing, except for this one has pretty cool electronics. And then you put this push down R2. Over here to the ATST. Now this is the Power of the Force 2 version and Pretty cool. I think this is the same exact mold as the original. Now, I never had the original, so um, this is pretty cool. The problem with these is the chicken legs, man. This thing is hard to stand. Here we have Jabba the Hutt, and this is the Jabba the Hutt with the slime that comes out of its mouth with the frogs. Here we have a Empire laser cannon from Hoth. 
There's a Tauntaun, Probot, Wampa, and there's the special edition uh, beast that the Jawas rode in. I can't remember its name. Uh, let me know in the comments. But yeah, this is it. This is all the stuff that I had up in the attic and I really didn't have a lot of room. But I might display some of them. So let me know, did you have any of these vehicles and play sets? And do you like them? But let's move over to this area here. Okay, let's go down to this shelf. We'll start with, these are the Funko Pops. You've all seen these, I'm sure, in the stores. These are the comic versions of them. So I have these guys. And I'm not sure, they might not make the cut anymore. They might have to get put away because now that I took down some of the items from the attic, I think I want to put them on this shelf and some other shelves. So, but here is the INT4, I believe it's called. This is a mini rig. This thing's pretty awesome. I wish I had the box, but stickers are nice. Really cool. Let me put that up here. And we have some Funko Pops here. I have Max Rebo, which is pretty awesome. IG88. And let's get this Vader. You've all seen this Vader at Targets. Pretty cool. Here are the, uh, the Micro Machines. I love this one. This is the original Star Wars with the trash compactor scene. I love this little trash monster in this. This is pretty cool. Do you guys still have any of these? What did you get rid of them all? Because I'm sure we've all collected every single one of these when they first came out in the 90s. But I think I'm going to keep this one here because this is going to be like my best bin setup, I think. The carbon freezing chamber set. So some of the things, as I go around, I'm actually probably going to change things around. So um, Let's see here. So right back here is the Jabba the Hutt Dungeon Action Play Set. So the playset is in the box. The figures aren't in the box. The figures are actually in that in my display cabinets over there. But uh, yeah, that's really awesome to have. Here is the Sears exclusive Bespin playset. But this is actually a reproduction one of it. My buddy that sells these on eBay makes these. He's the guy that did the Cantina Sears one. And the, you you know this is reproduction, to be, or you know, the the car it's, the card is real thick and it's built a lot better than the original. And I don't mind having this in my collection, even though it's repo. I, I have nothing against repo. I like having s some things that are uh, unaffordable. And if I can get this for cheap money, he actually gifted this to me, so I'm proud to have this in my collection. I love it, and it displays well, and it tells a story. So. Um, let's see here. We have Kenner Star Wars sweepstakes. Now I actually got this in a box of Star Wars. It was in the box of uh, miscellaneous Star Wars stuff at a local store. And, um, I got a bunch of stuff. I got the re remote control Jawa sand crawler from that place. And I got this, um, I'll show you a few more items, but yeah. So what this is, you mail this in, I believe, and you can get, um, tickets to see the new movie. I don't know if you want to pause that and read it. I don't think I've actually read all this, but has um, a ton of cool graphics on it, huh? Love it. Um, let's see here. Now, this is what also I found in that box. And these are cards of Star Wars images. And let me know in the comments right now before I uh, tell you where they're from. And I'll go through them all. And let me know if you know what these are from. So this was, I'll give you hints as we're going along, and I'll show you, each of, each one of these have an image on the back, right, and there's four different cards. This one's pretty cool. The End of Empire, we're like, what? It's over? What happened to Han? There we go. And this is actually the mail-away display from Empire Strikes Back, and it came with a, a display base, which is right here. It came with, I believe, four separate ones, and I actually have more than four, because um, I 
actually purchased a few extra ones on eBay years ago because they make great displays for uh, my custom figures. And then you just put the card on the side of there and display your figures. Let's see if we can line it up. There we go. Right? That's good enough. So how cool is that? See if we can find one for uh, with. We'll give that one for Super John. There you go, John. There's your Yoda scene. How cool is that? I love these. Do you guys own this? Have you ever seen this? This mail away? Let me know. And here's all the catalogs that came in. The play sets that we used to get back in the day. And I believe I have them all. You guys want to check them out? All right, I'll try to go through these quick so you can just get a just an example. But this, I believe, is the original book. The first one with the pink insert. And look at that. Look at that dewback. And that cantina. That looks like the uh, seer. I mean, not the seers, the palatoy ones. As well as the land of Jawas. Looks like the palatoy versions. Droid Factory. Cool as that. I love going through these every now, now every now and again. It's pretty fun. Again, I'll just show you a few images of Return of the Jedi. Empire. Do you guys have any of these? I think I have them all. At least the covers. I'm sure I said it once and I'll say it again. Let me know if I'm missing any. It would be nice to have them all because I am kind of a completist. I love this one right here. I do have the switcheroos. I'll show you it in another video. They're not in, on the card, but I do have them. Yeah. Cool. I love these. Doesn't it bring you back when you look at these? As a kid, you're like, what? That's coming out? Oh, I can't believe it. I, the ad at The puppet. I have the puppet. How cool is that? Very cool. I'm going to say that through the whole video. How cool is that? How cool is that? Look at that. They're like just drawings. Die cast drawings. Bam. Remember this? Bot bags. I do want to get a movie viewer. I don't have one of those. At least the Star Wars, I don't have that. Oh, look at that. That's cool. This one's a little beat. I could get a... I could definitely get a, a new one. Look at the concept art. Imperial Shuttle. And look at this. Presto Magic. I... Wasn't sure if I had anything else Presto Magic, but I do have this. And this is Wicked the Ewok Transfer Set. So it just gives you uh, what other ones you could get. I love Captain Caveman. Yeah, and that's it. Nothing on the back. So we'll move over here and we have some Tops widescreen cards. And these are all like 3D images, which are pretty cool. See if I can get it without the glare. It's like I have to move it up each time. Look at Darth Maul. I love this one. So if you look at it, it's it's 3D-ish. It actually, yeah, you can see it moving around. Pretty neat, huh? Do you guys have these? Have you ever seen them? I used to collect all the Topps cards back in the day. I had like a, a folder full of incomplete. Anything Star Wars, I would get. And this is before eBay. We actually had to go to physical stores to buy all this stuff. But yeah, how cool is that? Look at that. So this is that that creature that the Jawas rode, rode that I couldn't remember the name. Let's see if it says it on the back. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? And the last one. Probably one of the best ones right there. Punch it, Chewie! <laughs> is that even what he says? Probably not. Right, um, Chewie, but punch this it. is all the original 
Star Wars cards. Not all of them. It's not complete, obviously. But we have some Empire. We have some Original. We have some Return of the Jedi. So these are pretty cool. These are fun to go through every now and again. Here's the Cloud Car. So I actually got this on eBay. I think I paid like five bucks for it. I won it. Nobody else bid on it. Kind of felt guilty because it was like free shipping. I felt bad. It would probably cost more money to ship it to me. But these are the clips that went to the Ch Chewbacca's uh, bandolier that you would put an action figure in the bandolier. It was like a carrying case. And these actually hold like um, weapons and stuff like that for you. Star Wars action figures. And I know this thing gets a lot of hate, but I absolutely love this, this scene. I love this setup. Now, if you look here, I have all lighting underneath here. So I put all strip lighting, the strip lighting that you would buy at Walmart. So that's all wrapped up underneath it, as well as the stairs. Now you can see some duct tape there, but when you shut the lights off, you don't even see it. And then uh, we have Luke and Vader, that little scene. And um, those two stormtroopers there, that's actually Luke Skywalker. We have some vintage Ugnaughts, as well as some Power of the Force 2, or Power of the Jedi, I can't remember. And these little control panels, I actually got one of these on eBay for like 10 bucks a piece. And these are super hard to find. So I'm, I'm really lucky that I have those. This is um, Boba Fett. And I think this came with the, the uh, Salak Pit playset that I have. I'll show you that in another video. But that's pretty cool. And Vader. And there's a, I think that's a Luke, but I couldn't remove the helmet. But you can see that there's a head in there. It's probably... Um, I don't know. I can't remember which one it is. But I think I'd try to swap, put a Han Solo's head in there. Maybe. And that's why it's jammed in there. I can't remember. That was a while ago. I was messing around with that. And this is the original trilogy. Lobot. And probably the same. I don't know if that's original trilogy. But I'm going to swap these with some of the vintage ones. As well as the Leia there from Power of the Jedi. I do like that Leia, believe it or not, because she's like in that pose where she's like crying when Han Solo went into carbon. Yeah, how cool is that? So, you guys want to see? Let's uh, swap some of the figures and check them out. So, these are the figures I'm going to add in that display. I'll open these up off camera and then we'll put them together and you can let me know which ones look better. Newer vintage collection or the older ones? So, I put them next to the older ones. And the one on the left is older, vintage collection on the right. So Boba Fett looks better. Vader, I think, looks better. Look how small Lobot is compared to the original trilogy one. Lando looks better. And Leia. Leia looks good, but I do like the older one a little bit better. I think. What do you guys think? I mean, she is in that running pose, but when you put her next to Chewie like that, like I had her, it looks like she was like, you know, crying at that scene. But yeah, let's put him on the, uh, the base and check it out. And here's with the new figures. I think it looks pretty good. I actually put a quill in there too. So here's the original setup that I had. And then we'll compare it what to do you think? the newer figures. Vintage collection figures. We'll go back to the old school. Let's light her up. So what do you think? I, I absolutely love this set. What's cool about it is I can change the, the colors to anything I want. Can have even disco lighting. Fades in and fades out. So have you customized yours? Did you buy two sets? Because I know at Amazon right now they have them on sale for like 35 bucks each. But um, I love it. So as you can see there's a lot of stuff on the bottom shelf here. So to make things easier I'm going to pull things out of 
that area and put them on the middle of the floor and we'll take a look at it over here. Let's start with the carrying cases. Here we have Darth Vader's carrying case. The original 1978, I believe it is. Both Empire Strikes Back version. And this is the 2004 version of the 3PO carrying case. I do need to get the original. I would love to have the Return of the Jedi one, but that one's like anywhere from three to five hundred dollars for that. And then we have the rifle. But uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at these real quick. Darth Vader carrying case opened up. Pretty cool. Stickers are kind of beat, but still pretty fun. Here's the inside of the rifle. Here's the 3PO opened up, and it's actually missing the things that hold the figures in place. But it's still kind of cool. Here's a little tag in the front of it. Lucasfilm, 1982. Let's open it up, check it out. So this is the, the red uh, version. And it does have the stickers inside. Let me pull one out for you. Kind of cool and i love these because you could have you can display all your figures on the space i always thought that was pretty awesome when i was a kid let's open up this case it's pretty cool this one comes with the catalog it's a little beat up but and the insert how cool is that i forgot this had it in it a little beat up but it's all awesome to have it and uh this is like a what beige but we do have stickers in it. Pretty cool. Look at that one, it says four loom. So I do own two of these cases. One of them doesn't have any figures in it, but this one is loaded with figures. And these are from the Droid Factory. A lot of them are from uh, at Disney. And some of them are for, from uh, they came with an extra piece when you bought a figure back in, was it the 2000s? Early 2000s, I think. But uh, yeah, check them all out. And what's cool about the Disney one is you can get like a hat. So that's Indiana Jones. You get a goofy hat. And also a Yoda hat. And I think Pirates of the Caribbean too. Yeah, right here. Pirates of the Caribbean. So these are all the figures I keep. This is all droids in this case and also underneath here. Here's the Dagobah action playset, and it is complete. Um, I think this piece right here is little. Yeah, I, I need to get another one of these because the little clip inside there broke. But we have all the crates and the little barrel that holds uh, R2. And have the instructions the important notice so you don't break that uh levitating little things here and i do have the original swamp in here look at that thing that is disgusting but um i don't know if you know but i used to sell these on ebay so i made a swamp when i bought this place that it didn't you know you saw the swamp it was disgusting so i went on ebay looking around for a reproduction or a replacement, I couldn't find one, so I made myself one, and I decided to sell them on eBay, and I probably sold like a thousand of them. Um, so let me know, are you one of the people that purchased one of my swamps? It's made out of felt here, and underneath is two pieces of black foam to give it the thickness, but yeah, so, I'm the guy that made this replacement swamp. I do have a Star Wars light here. Lights up. A few more items here. We have a Micro Galaxy Squadron. The Chase. This is one of 5,000. And this is with Luke Skywalker and R2 and the X-Wing. I have another Chase. This is one, of, one in 15,000. And this is Moff Gideon. Pretty cool. And I do love this one. Look at that. This one's pretty cool. And then here is some comic. So I do have a bunch of these. Not a bunch. I think I have like four of these comic book ones. 
and um, so I display a few of them I don't have the room to display every one of them but I do love the Darth Vader look and there is the the interrogation droid right as well as a rebel trooper pretty cool I love that now these were gifted to me by my new neighbor so thank you love those and this set is awesome. And this is Jabba's creature set. Return of the Jedi. And there is Bomar Monk. And a few other creatures. I can't remember their names. But they might say it on the back. So let's take a look. Yeah, there we go. Is that Budo. And Bomar Monk. And I'm not even going to try. What? Wall something. <laughs> we have the micro collection. Hoth Wampa Cave and the Hoth Turret Defense. And these are both complete. You remember Star Wars Play-Doh? So let's start over here. This is the original Star Wars Play-Doh set. Comes with Leia and R2. There's Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader with an X-Wing. And here's the pad, the play, the play mat, the Empire Strikes Back version. We have a few of the molds here. And some of the guys here. There's Darth Vader again. R2 and a snow trooper. Looks like. And a snow speeder. And I actually have two of these mats. Pretty cool. Jabba the Hut. And look at the salacious crumb there. The boxes are kind of beat, but I still, I, I mean, I love this stuff. Here we have the skiff. There's Jabba and there's Salacious Crumb. Is that Squidhead with Luke Skywalker, Bib Fatoon Han Solo, Gamorrean Guard with Bush Leia. And these are the Ewok ones right here. The mat's pretty beat up. I don't have the box for the Ewoks, but this is the Ewok one. The animated show. And here is one with Yoda. Um, I don't know what set this went to. This is the only green one I have. And I had to get it because it had Yoda in it. And then this is the placemat for the Jabba the Hutt one. But yeah. Did you guys collect any of these? Did you have these as a kid? Because I definitely had this one. I had the, the original Star Wars one. And here's some Play-Doh mats that I had printed out and laminated. So you can use them as placemats or anything like that. So I had them all, except for Jabba, Jabba's uh, set. I haven't had that one done yet. But I even have a Ghostbuster one, a real Ghostbusters. And look at this, this little uh, Play-Doh that I found in the box of Play-Dohs. Is that King Kong? I didn't know they made like a King Kong, but that's pretty cool. Let's see if you can see that. So here's the new Ben Cooper 50th anniversary Star Wars mask. They made a 3PO, Stormtrooper, and Yoda. And this is the Darth Vader one. It's pretty neat. It's hard plastic. But it's it's like retro, man. This is what we wore back in the day as a kid. There's some Star Wars books. These are like activity ones where you can press the button. to different things that you could do pretty neat here's a sticker book this is Anakin Skywalker and then this is like a little activity laptop for kids here we have the vintage radio control R2-D2 so I don't think the batteries are working too well on this but I can get them to make sound It's the remote for that R2. Now, who remembers these 3D calendars? Um, this is from 1995. And if you stare at these images long enough, you'll see something in there. I could never do it because I have a lazy eye. But some people can do it. Pretty cool, huh? Do you remember these? Vintage board game, Escape from the Death Star. 
the Rebel Command Center adventure set. This is complete. The uh, extra pieces are in the box, but yeah, how cool is that? Cardboard is in really great shape. Set that up just like that. And here is the Empire Strikes Back Rebel Transport. It does have the backpacks and gas masks in this baggie. And this was $24.66 when it came out at Kmart. How awesome is that? Here's a quick look at the top of the box. And the back of the box. The cockpit. Gunner station. And if you turn that handle there, you can pop the top off. And there's your like little carrying case. Stack a lot of figures in there. And then I do have the, the door, the ramp. Yeah, pretty cool. I had to piece this out. When I got this, it was incomplete. But um, with little time and effort, you can complete it. Last but not least, we have the electronic X-Wing with the shooting missile. You press down R2. It's got the movable little screen there. So after pulling stuff from the attic, I decided to keep it down and change things around a little bit during the making of this video. I just made room for the bunker coming next year. Changed it around a little bit up here on this shelf. And this one. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff. Remember, we are all Geek Strong. Take care, everyone. The stickers are kind of beat up, but we do have some vintage figures in here, which is pretty fun. And it does have all the... Oh, shit.